In effect, the euro and the pound sterling should decline faster than they are doing at the moment. It seems that they are just hovering at the same levels. The fact is that the currencies received unexpected support from the final data on the Eurozone manufacturing PMI. According to the preliminary estimates, the indicator decreased to 54.4 points from 55.5, and the final report unveiled a smaller drop to 54.6 points. Meanwhile, in the UK, the final data met preliminary estimates, thus the manufacturing PMI slid to 54.6 points from 55.8. However, the publication of the Eurozone unemployment rate is the main event of the day. Yesterday, analysts foresaw a drop to 6.7% from 6.8%. However, closer to the end of the day, the forecast was downwardly revised to 6.8%. Such figures are reflecting the general attitude to the current economic situation in the European Union that is significantly worse than in the United States. Notably, all the sanctions imposed against Russia are hitting Europe first of all. The embargo on Russian oil will only worsen the current state of affairs. That's why more pessimistic predictions are likely to come true. The US will also disclose its manufacturing PMI data today. The initial estimate showed a decline. However, traders are likely to focus on the U.S. job openings, the number of which may fall. Nevertheless, it does not mean that the U.S. labor market situation is getting worse. The fact is that the number of layoffs is also expected to decrease, thus explaining a smaller number of job openings. In general, the U.S. macroeconomic reports are likely to be neutral, that's why the financial market situation is expected to remain the same. Let us take a look at the trading charts. The euro-dollar pair slackened its correction near the lower limit of the resistance area of 1.08. As a result, the volume of long positions dropped, thus spurring a decline. The US dollar has just begun recapping its losses. Traders fear that the pair may resume climbing if it returns to the resistance level. A further rise in the volume of short positions will take Take place if the price settles below 1.0680. In this case, traders will receive a stronger sell signal. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pair stopped hovering within the 70 pip channel and fell. As a result, the volume of short positions surged, thus affecting the correctional movement. If the price settles below 1.2560, the US dollar may go on climbing. This, in turn, may case a, a new drop in the pound sterling. The alternative scenario will become possible if the pair returns to the earlier broken range of 1.2600 and 1.2670. And in this case, the upward correction may continue. How we're going to be in the short term, we will definitely tell you in our next news release. Don't miss them and stay up to date with us. See you soon!